Digital Coders, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be talking about Billboard GUIs in Roblox Studio. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, what in the world is a Billboard GUI? You may be thinking of the ones that you may see when you're driving on a road trip and you may see an ad on it or something, but that's, in this case it's a bit different. To display an example here, I'm going to go and get a little rig by using a plugin. I'm going to search up my own character. Fast. Okay, so with our character here, I'm going to be adding a billboard GUI. To do that, what we need to do is go inside of our character here in the explorer and we're going to be clicking the plus button and then we just search up billboard or even just bi works. Then we click on this one right here. Now to use this or actually make it display something, we've got to add anything honestly. It could be a frame, image label, you know, the classic old good old little GUIs that we already know, but if you don't really know them and you didn't see all my other videos and you're pretty new to this GUI stuff, then I recommend you go see my other playlist called the GUI playlist. So yeah, you can go check it out. Right now, I'm going to add a text box and after we add the text box, as you can see, it sort of is overlapping on the little character here. If I zoom out, it will constantly get bigger, which is a bit of a problem right now, but we'll fix it and basically it's sort of stamped onto the character here. So basically when it comes to the billboard GUI, it's sort of like a display for an object. This doesn't only work on rigs, it can work on some parts, models, even the base plate if we wanted to. But for now I'm just going to use it as a rig as it is quite relatable and you can use it for many of your games for that purpose like ranks like i bet you've seen in simulators like all those ranks with the little rank on their head and stuff so that's what this could be used for now we need to make this look a bit more pleasing first of all if we zoom out this thing gets humongous so how we can fix that by going to billboard gui and then we go over here to the properties and then we go down to max distance so right now it's an infinity and if we click on it it's a very big number so we're going to replace it with something like 50 studs so if we click out as you can see it's not visible as we are far away so basically the max distance is how far or close you need to be for the billboard gui to be visible so right now we're of course much farther away than 50 studs but if we get close enough we can see the little display on the character as long as we are in the 50 stud range now that we got the max distance set up, now we can work on the Adorni. What this property is for is for it to indicate or display on a specific object that is inside. You may think, but we already put our billboard inside the character, isn't that enough? Well, not really. It's going to be, it's not going to really work properly if we don't use the Adorni onto an object. So how we do this so that our G billboard actually works properly is we click onto the Dorney and we go over here to the Explorer and we just choose whatever we want. As we're, I'm going to be trying to recreate a sort of rank in my knockoff version, we're going to click on the head. As you can see, it's sort of shifted up a bit, so now it's displaying mainly on the head. So, now what else can we do with this and make it look even better? We can go down here and then we can look for always on top so then it goes on in front of our character. Now we got another problem. It's completely covering our character's head. I want to see my character's beautiful face so we gotta fix that. So how we're gonna fix this is by using offset. So down here we have stud offset, basically position offset, and we click on it and we're gonna go on Y and I'm gonna change this to just about 2. You don't need to change it to too big of a number and as you can see it scooches up a bit so now i can see my character's face again and i can still see the billboard gui on top i'm gonna do really fast some a bit of clean gui in this because this doesn't look too appealing or interesting to look at so one moment okay there we go now this looks much better with this nice little billboard right here and it definitely represents me but yeah, that's basically it. So now you know how you can, one, add a billboard UI, two, change how far you can see it so that it's not humongous at a specific amount of distance, and three, now you actually know how to make it so it's visible when you play the game and it doesn't have any errors, and also how to use offset. 
with all of those combined, you now know the basics of Billboard GYs. So, you're welcome for this tutorial, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye!